And now, Shantae Hinton will take her final walk as the reigning Miss USA. Without question, being Miss USA has been my passport to infinite possibilities. When I think about the camaraderie I share with thousands of dedicated volunteers around the world on behalf of breast and ovarian cancer research, I know I am blessed. Thank you to my Miss Universe organization family for your quiet strength, guidance, and for simply believing in me. To the people whom I owe my existence, Ma, Kenyatta, and Solomon, you have sacrificed so much to see me succeed. To my family and friends, I will never forget where I came from. Finally, to the lucky young lady who will wear the crown, be prayerful, be focused, be generous, and be authentic. Alcisa Castillo will take her final walk as the reigning Miss USA. My journey this past year has been such an amazing learning experience. The people whose support and friendship I was fortunate to have in my life helped make it that much more fulfilling. And there are so many to thank. Most deserving always is God, who continues to guide me. To Mommy, you are the strength that drives me to greatness. Te quiero un montón. Mari and Jari, thanks for always being my cheerleaders and the best sisters ever. To my family and friends in Massachusetts, y para mi gente y familia en Puerto Rico. Un millón de gracias por todo su apoyo. To Matthew, thank you for always encouraging and loving me. I look forward to beginning our new life together. To the Miss Universe organization, thank you for allowing me to represent our country as a positive role model for young women all over the world. And finally, to all the delegates, keep your heads held high, be proud of who you are, and don't ever look back. God bless and mucho amor. And now, Shandy Finnessy will take her final walk as the reigning Miss USA. As I reflect on the past year, I am reminded of the growth cycle of a butterfly. For after much preparation, the small caterpillar finally awakens into a butterfly, ready to take its graceful flight into the world. Being Miss USA is an opportunity to become an ambassador for the United States. And it is to this great country that I owe thanks for allowing me to represent you. To the Miss Universe organization, thank you for creating a program that allows young women the ability to be a positive role model. To the state of Missouri, the city of Florissant, it was such an honor to represent you. I especially want to thank two very special butterflies, my mom and dad, for taking this amazing journey with me. Through the good and the bad, you've always flown by my side. Although this year has passed by so quickly, I am once again reminded of the butterfly, who counts not months, but moments, and has time enough. will take her final walk as the reigning Miss USA. During the past year as Miss USA, I have grown so much as a person. I promised myself that throughout my incredible journey, I would always try to take something special from each and every experience. It's been so important to me to strive to empower women, whether it be their minds, their inner beauty, or the recognition of their achievements in society. I must thank God for always looking out for me. To my family and friends, you've all been so wonderful. To my mother, thank you for teaching me to be a strong and independent woman. To dad, for all of your support and our late night talks. And Andrew, you are the best little brother. To my roomies, I have had the time of my life living with all of you. And of course, to Donald Trump and everyone at the Miss Universe organization, thank you. My message for young women everywhere, always try and matter, be a positive person, and never stop believing in yourselves. And now, Tara Connor will take her final walk as the reigning Miss USA. As I bid the title of Miss USA farewell, I know that one chapter of my life will come to an end, yet another is about to begin. When I was given a second chance by Mr. Trump, the door to recovery opened. Since then, I have learned that I truly can make a difference. More importantly, I received a great blessing, my sobriety. I am extremely grateful for the many experiences I had throughout my year. I enjoyed working with many great causes, and by the end of my reign, I championed a new cause to raise awareness about the disease that once made my own life unmanageable. I want to sincerely thank Ms. Paula Schubert, my dear friends both at the Miss Universe organization and at the Karen Foundation, and to my family for believing in me. 
to Mr. Trump, you truly saved my life. I will forever be grateful. And above all, I want to thank God. To the new title holder, take in this experience for all that it has to offer. Thank you all for sharing this year with me. And now, Rachel Smith will take her final walk as the reigning Miss USA. My year as Miss USA 2007 has been an incredible honor and an experience I could never possibly forget. I have been blessed far beyond belief, and I am still trying to process all the memories. The whirlwind of a year could not have been achieved alone. I would like to give thanks to the people that made this possible, to the Miss Universe organization for the opportunity to serve in this historical position and helping me live out my dreams. To Clarksville, Tennessee, my hometown, and Belmont University, my alma mater, for enhancing the Southern values my parents always emphasized. To the Greenwoods, Barons, Newmans, Tamanis, and my family, it was you who taught me the most important things in life. Character, integrity, responsibility, and the power of faith. I love you. And finally, to the next title holder, may you too feel the power to stand firm in the things that matter most to you. It has been an absolute honor to serve you all. Rachel Stewart. Five years ago, I had the dream of becoming Miss USA. After numerous losses competing for Miss Texas USA, my mother said, the race does not go to the swift, but to the one who endures. My dream finally became a reality, affording me the opportunity to travel around the world and meet unforgettable people. However, my success is not attributed to one person, but to a group of people. I tip my hat to those who helped me achieve my goals, to God and to my friends and family, mostly mom, dad, BJ, and Brianna. Without you, I would not be who I am today. To Mr. Trump and the Miss Universe organization, thank you for a wonderful year of memories and the privilege to represent your amazing organization. And to the next Miss USA, remember, you're not only representing yourself, but your family, friends, the Miss Universe organization, and the country. Kristen Dalton. Woo! This magical year has been filled with priceless opportunities to meet incredible people, work with dynamic causes, and travel our great nation in so many parts of the world. Working for the Miss Universe organization has taught me to be stronger and more inquisitive and to encourage young women to dream big and realize that with education and hard work, anything is possible. I want to express my deepest gratitude to everyone who helped me grow and to achieve my goals. To God for my countless blessings and this amazing chance to make an impact on the world. My family, the best support team ever. Mama, Julia, Kenzie, Drew, and Daddy. The Miss Universe organization, especially Paula, Lark, and Esther. And Mr. Trump, you're the world's best boss. Being Miss USA has been an absolute honor that will never be replaced by any other experience. But I'm not finished yet, and I'll take everything I've learned and apply it to my next dream. Taking her final walk is Miss USA 2010, Rima Fakie. Words cannot describe the impact this year has had on my life. As the first Arab American and first Muslim woman to win the title, I have learned to be fearless in my attempt to prove to the world that Miss USA is tough enough. Winning the crown has offered me the opportunity to meet incredible people, travel the globe, and work with outstanding causes. I want to express my deepest gratitude to all of those who have supported me along the way. My family, Baba, Mama, Sabia, Rena, Ruba, and Rami, you are my motivators and my rock. To the Miss Universe organization, especially Paula Schubert, you have been my second family and I will always remember everything that you have taught me. And to Mr. Trump, the best boss in the world, thank you for this opportunity and for saying, Rima, you're hired. This truly has been a year of personal and professional growth that has changed my life forever. And being Miss USA is an honor that I will never forget. Dreams do come true. Welcome, Alyssa Campanella. 
After watching the Miss USA pageant over the past few years, I never expected that one day I would be bestowed with the prestigious title myself. I'm just a small town girl born in New Jersey who moved to California to pursue a dream. And now I feel like I can conquer the world. This year could not have been possible if it weren't for Mr. Donald Trump and the Miss Universe organization. Mr. Trump, thank you for the opportunity and for believing in me. Paula Shugart, you were not just my boss, but a mother and friend. To my beautiful mom, you're the reason I'm standing here today as a woman. And dad, I will always be your little girl. I love you both so much. Jessica, I am the luckiest woman in the entire world to have a sister like you. Danielle, you are the perfect role model and the best Miss Teen USA. Layla, Miss Universo, Jose Alinda. Torrance, you are my soulmate, my best friend, and the most amazing man on the planet. To everyone at the Miss Universe organization, I had so much fun with all of you. To my incredible fans all over the world, thank you for making me feel like a true queen. I'm excited to see what is in store for my future. The possibilities are now endless. In 2006, I entered my first pageant. After competing over and over for six years, I still had no state title to show, and some people told me to give up on my dream of one day becoming Miss USA. My dedication paid off, and I stand here on the stage for a final time. To those on a similar journey looking to achieve a dream in the face of doors closed, my message to you is grow strong and persevere. I have so many people to thank, including my parents, Paula Shugart, Mr. Donald Trump, and all of the wonderful people at the Miss Universe organization. I stand here humbled and honored as your Miss USA 2012. I'm living proof that with hard work, perseverance, and a bit of faith, anything is possible. Thank you very much, Nana. This year has changed my life and I will be forever grateful. To the next Miss USA, get ready for one of the most amazing experiences of your life. A huge thank you to Mr. Trump for backing the dreams of so many young women all over the world. To Miss Paula Schubert, you have provided me with more this year than I could ever have dreamed of and I can't even begin to say thank you for that. To my mom and dad, thank you for raising me to be the woman I am today. To my Graham, I love you so much, and I would not be here without you. To my beautiful sisters, Lauren and Audrey, it's us three to the end. To Tony, the love of my life, and the Capasso family, I can't even begin to thank you for all of your love and support. To Andrea, Emily, Randy, the MEO family, and of course, Cassidy and Gabriella, you have completely changed my life, and I will never forget you. I hope to have left an everlasting mark as Miss USA 2013. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in welcoming back Miss USA 2014, Nia Sanchez. This year has been one of the best years of my life. I am forever thankful to God and all the people who made it all possible. My state director, Shayna Mochler, I couldn't have done this without you. Paula Shugart, I admire what you do for young women around the world. Emily Esther, thank you for always being there for me. My sister queens, Alexa, Cassidy, Gabriella, Paulina, and Kaylee, I love you all. Mom, Dad, my family, and the Bookos, thank you for always supporting me and being the best cheering team out there. Daniel, my fiance, because you believed in me, I was able to believe in myself. I love you. To the next Miss USA 2015, be you, stay humble, and enjoy every moment. Thank you so much, Nia, and congratulations on a wonderful year. Ladies and gentlemen, from Tulsa, Oklahoma, Miss USA 2015, Olivia Jordan. I am so grateful to have represented my home state as Oklahoma's first ever Miss USA. Mom, Dad, and Allie, thank you for making this year everything that it was and for reminding me that when the future was out of my control, que sera, sera. Thank you, Van Bros, Kristen, Marquise, and my dear family and friends. To the fans, I am forever grateful to each of you. To the one that takes my place, show women everywhere how to use your voice to make a difference. Know that Emily is an angel that will get you through the hard times. Take care of Pia and Catherine. You are so lucky to have them as your sisters. Thank you, WME, IMG, MUO, and especially Paula for the remarkable opportunity to spread this message to millions. Be you, believe in yourself, and follow your wildest dreams. 
done an incredible job, and tonight you'll pass the crown to another extraordinary woman. Thank you, Olivia. It was an honor to be the first active military soldier to win Miss USA. First, I want to thank my angel in heaven, my mother. Your spirit is always with me. To my dad, Lavette, and my siblings, you are all the reason I am Miss USA. To Miss Carla, the Miss DC USA family, and the Miss Universe organization, Emily, Esther, and Paula, your guidance has molded me over the course of my reign. To Catherine, Pia, Carly, and Iris, I love you, my dear sister queens. And to Miss USA 2017, you are worthy and you will now represent the women of the United States. Completing in Miss USA changed my life eternally. Now I proudly stand before the world as a curly hair queen, scientist, and chic geek. During my reign, I had the opportunity to leverage my nonprofit, SE4K, which empowers students of all backgrounds to embrace science and math through fun with purpose interactive activities. This year has reaffirmed my life mantra, nothing in this world can take the place of persistence. I want to thank my mom, dad, and brother Julius, to Paula and Emily and the entire Miss Universe organization, thank you for your endless support. To Iris, Demi, Carly, and Sophia, y'all are the fiercest. To the next Miss USA, use your passion to make a difference. Because of this experience, I wake up every morning and say, I am limitless. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in welcoming Sarah Rose Summers as she takes her final walk as Miss USA. Life is truly amazing, and our God is so good at writing our stories better than we could have ever imagined. I would have never dreamt that the shy young girl I once was would later become the first Miss USA from Nebraska. On my journey to becoming Miss USA, I had the goals to be true to myself and make empowering friendships. Through these experiences, I have been just as excited, if not more, for other women's success as my own. I am truly thankful for the support of my family, friends, MUO team, Endeavor, sponsors, and sisters who have stood alongside me and lifted me up throughout this adventure. I wouldn't be who I am without each of you. To my supporters, thank you for your love. It does not go unnoticed. The new Miss USA, congratulations. Stay humble, use your voice, lead with your heart, and welcome to the sisterhood. Chesley, you are exceptional, and you will never, ever, ever be replaced. Rockstar. We have reached the moment in the show where we are going to try. Ladies and gentlemen, taking her final walk as Miss USA, please welcome Asia Branch. Just a couple of minutes, there will be another Miss USA.